Learn with Eddie. This is really weird. No one's here. Hmm. I think I know what's going on. Nikki. Don't be afraid. A little bird told me you really like science. That's why I thought today we can play and learn how to mix colors. Do you want to do that? Great then. Here are four test tubes with four different colors. Blue, red, yellow, and white. And by mixing them, we're going to get new colors. For example, what's your favorite color? Purple. And do you know what colors you need to mix to get it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll show you. If we pour blue paint in a container, and then we pour red paint over it, look what happens. When they mix, we get purple. Do you know what this amazing color symbolizes? It symbolizes sensitivity, delicacy, and elegance. Just like you. You are sensitive, delicate, and elegant. <laughs> That's why purple is your favorite color. <laughs> I see you love this game. Let's keep playing. What's your second favorite color? Green. So cool. And do you know what colors you need to mix to get it? I'll help you. If we pour blue paint and add some yellow, look what happens. See, we get green. Do you know what this beautiful color symbolizes? Green symbolizes nature, generosity, health, and serenity. <laughs> you get so happy when you are learning. <laughs> now, I'll give you a color, and you have to let me know what colors we need to mix to get it. We want to get orange. I'll give you a clue. It's two colors we haven't mixed yet. That's it. Well done. Using red as the base and adding some yellow, we get orange, which symbolizes joy and enthusiasm. Do you want to keep going? I'll show you how to get brown now. If we add red paint and mix it with green paint, we get brown. And this beautiful color symbolizes the earth. But we are still going to learn another color. Look, if we pour some red and add some white, we get pink, which symbolizes good manners, kindness, and sweetness. Now you know how to mix colors, Nikki. Hi, Eddie. Today we're going to learn how to mix colors. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right, Eddie. That's what I feel these science pipettes with different color liquids. And we will mix them to get a new color. Uh -huh. Very well, Eddie. Let's begin. Let's see, which liquid do you want to use first? <laughs> You're always thinking of food. You want to use the color red, right? Very well. Now we pour the red liquid in the container. Perfect. And what color do you want to mix it with, Eddie? <laughs> Yellow! That's great, Eddie! I'm sure we'll create a new color by mixing this too. Check it out, Eddie! It's magic! By mixing red and yellow together, we got the color orange! Well done! Now pick out another two colors and we'll mix them, okay? Alright, Eddie! We'll use the color red again. Perfect! Blue! We'll use the color blue too! Perfect, Eddie! Let's see what the colors red and blue turn into! By mixing the colors red and blue together, we got the color purple! It's my favorite color, Eddie! 
This is great. I love this game. Well, let's do the last mixture. We pour a little bit of yellow liquid in the container. Here we go. And now we put this away. And now we add a little bit of blue. Perfect. And now it's time for the magic to happen. Check it out, Teddy. We got the color green by mixing the colors yellow and blue together. <laughs> well done, Eddie. We have learned so much about mixing colors. And you guys, do you know any other color mixtures? See you on our next video. Hi, Professor Eddie. Say hi to all of your lab partners. Because today is experiment day. Remember we asked you for new ideas? You've left so many in the comments. It was kind of hard, but we've chosen to... Make a volcano! <laughs> Don't be scared, Eddie. It's a homemade volcano. And it's not dangerous. And you guys can start thinking of what other experiments you'd like to try out with Eddie. You can tell us in the comments. Here we go, Eddie. The nice part about this experiment is that we can use recycled items. Like a plastic bottle, which we'll use for the inside. And old newspapers to cover it. You'll see, come closer. First, we grab some cardboard that will act as a base and we glue the bottle to it. There, right in the middle. And in order to make the rest of the volcano, we prepare a mixture of water and glue beforehand, so that we can dip the paper in it and place it around the bottle. And just like so, we make a volcano-shaped <laughs> mountain. Once we're done, we have to wait for it all to dry. <laughs> and our volcano is now ready, Eddie. Would you like to paint it? <laughs> This is amazing, Eddie! It looks real! You even added grass and everything! Perfect! Now we can move on to the most fun part! The eruption! <laughs> it's when a volcano explodes and the lava inside it comes rushing out! We're going to recreate it at home by mixing together some substances that react with each other! Like when you drop a mint in a glass of cola! Uh -huh. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> but in this case, we'll need bicarbonate of soda, liquid soap, vinegar, and our preferred food coloring. First, we add bicarbonate of soda. It's this white powder that we already used for making slime, remember? And liquid soap, so that the lava is bubbly. Any brand will do. Oh, I forgot to ask you, Eddie. What color would you like the lava to be? Red, yellow, green, or blue? <laughs> you want to use all the colors? Hmm, I don't know how that will turn out, but let's give it a go! Once we're done with that, we just have to add the vinegar very carefully, and the reaction will take place! Do you want to do it, Eddie? Remember, be very careful! Oh! That's weird. Maybe we have to wait a little longer. Wait, Teddy! What are you doing? Careful! Eddie! How are we supposed to stop it now? Quickly! Think of something! Hello, Eddie! Oops! What's wrong? Ah, I see. You are hungry, right? It makes sense. It's almost nighttime and you are thinking about dinner already. <laughs> That's why you have a baby bottle. <laughs> but in order to fill it up, you don't need any lab experiment. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. Since you are all so tired, you are a bit confused, huh? I'll give you a hand. Let's get dinner ready so you can go to bed. <laughs> all right, Eddie. So, do you want to make a bottle? <laughs> Fruit flavored bottle? Well, you surprised me there. I think it's an amazing idea. Because that way, we can also learn how to mix colors. So, fruits you feel like having. We have oranges here, kiwi fruit, blackberries. 
Oops. Uh, but I'm afraid we don't have any strawberries, Eddie. E hmm. I thought you had planted some. <laughs> All right. So while I get everything we need ready, do you want to go pick some? <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. All right. Where do I start? Hmm. <laughs> I've almost got it all ready. How are you doing over there? I know you. Don't just stay there in the garden eating. <laughs> well, everything ready. Eddie! How are you doing with those strawberries? <laughs> wow, all right, you were there. <laughs> Great, we can start now. <laughs> I have four bottles here with warm water so we can mix it all up. <laughs> we need to add the milk powder for dinos. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> we really need to shake them up well so it all gets mixed up. <laughs> Plus, it's really fun and you get to see the bottles turn white. <laughs> Let's take the top off so we can add the fruit. And now, if we want to have four different bottles of different colors, we need to mm -hmm. add a different fruit to each one of them. Is it? Strawberries for the first one, kiwi fruit for the <laughs> second one, orange for the third one, and blackberries for the fourth one. <laughs> Time to whip it. <laughs> Watch how the colors in the bottles change, Eddie. <laughs> When we mix the white color of the milk with the red color of the strawberries, we get a pink bottle. Oh. When we mix the kiwi fruit, we get a light green bottle. <laughs> Though it's also called pistachio color. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, when we mix milk with orange, we get light orange, which really doesn't have any other name. <laughs> <laughs> And last, when we mix the purple color of the blackberries, <laughs> we get a lilac bottle. <laughs> now we just need to put the lid back on. Being really careful not to drop them, it'd be a waste. <laughs> and we have our colored and flavored bottles ready. <laughs> Great! Once you've had dinner, do you want to put your jammies on and go to sleep? <laughs> Alrighty. Open your mouth. <laughs> and lastly, we can't forget about your hat. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> you are ready to go to bed and sleep. <laughs> hey, where are you going now? Your bed is the other way. <laughs> I think you are overtired. <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed. Oops, he is out already. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Eddie. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Ah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs> <laughs>